In these problems, we're converting between different units of weight in the metric system. The first one says convert 9 milligrams to grams. To do this, you need to know how many milligrams are in a gram, how those two relate. And if you don't know it, you can look it up. Just type that question in, uh, in a search engine on the internet, how many milligrams in a gram, and it'll tell you. It'll say that there are 1,000 milligrams in one gram. And then you want to turn that into a, a unit multiplier or a conversion factor. So 1,000 milligrams per one gram or one gram per 1,000 milligrams. Either one is correct. Let's set up our problem now. We're starting with milligrams, so 9 milligrams over 1. And I want to choose the one of these conversion factors where milligrams, which is on the top here, is on the bottom over here, so it'll cancel. So 1 gram divided by 1,000 milligrams. And now we can do the math. We've got 9 times 1 on the top and 1 times 1,000 on the bottom. That comes out to 9, let's see, the milligrams cancel. 9 grams over 1,000. And if you punch that in on your calculator, you'll get 0 .009 grams. Now, one thing that might help you to think about here um, is when we go move between units here, we're moving the decimal place in the metric system. So if you think about this, here are grams, and then the next would be um, decigrams, they're tenth, a tenth of a gram. And then centigrams would be a hundredth of a gram. And then milligrams would be a thousandth of a gram. And we moved one, two, three. That's moving the decimal point three places. We start out with nine, we moved one, two, three. So just another way to think about it. Let's look at the next one. Here they're, they're starting to use units that maybe you're not familiar with. This one says three centigrams to milligrams. And if you didn't know how they related, you could look it up. If you typed in how many centigrams in a milligram, it would tell you 0.1. It would be a number less than 1. So you might want to switch around your language and say how many milligrams in a centigram. If you typed that into a search engine, it would say 10 milligrams in 1 centigram. Now that you've got that fact, you can turn it into a unit multiplier, 10 milligrams per centigram or 1 centigram per 10 milligrams, and then we can set up our problem. We start with 3 centigrams, and we want to use the conversion factor where centigrams are on the bottom. So that's 10 milligrams per 1 centigram. Across the top, 3 times 10 is 30. Across the bottom, 1 times 1. The centigrams cancel. We're left with, with uh, milligrams, and we get 30 milligrams in 3 centigrams. Now this time actually we went from centigrams down to milligrams so we moved that decimal point one place We started with 3 and we moved it one place that way we got 30. Alright let's do another one here it says convert 2,952 grams to centigrams if you, uh, you know, type into a search engine how many grams in a centigram, you'll get 0 0.01. So you might want to type it in the other way, how many centigrams in a gram, and you'd get 100 centigrams in one gram. Just like there are 100 centimeters in a meter, there are 100 centigrams in a gram. Conversion factors then would be 100 centigrams per one gram, or one gram per 100 centigrams, and we'll set up our problem. 2,952 grams. And we want to choose the one with grams on the bottom because grams is on the top over here. So we get 100 centigrams over 1 gram. The grams cancel. And we're going to be multiplying 2,952 times 100 on the top, 1 times 1 on the bottom. So that's 2,000, well, we're going to basically add two zeros there. So 295,200 centigrams is our answer there. And what we did there is we moved the decimal um, two points that way. 
and let's look at one more here. It says convert 1,817 grams to hectograms. So you might want to ask yourself how many grams in a hectogram or type that into a search engine and what you'd find out is uh, 100 grams is one hectogram and uh, make a conversion factor out of that, 100 grams to one hectogram or one hectogram to 100 grams. Set up our problem, 1,817 grams and we'll choose the one with grams on the bottom, so one hectogram over 100 grams. In this case we get 1,817 times 1. Oh, let's cancel our units here. So 1,817 on the top, 100 on the bottom. We'll do our division there and you're really moving the decimal place by two points again. So this is going to be 18.17 hectograms. What you should notice in common with all these problems it, with the metric system is that you're really just moving the decimal point. If you can decide in your head how, uh, you know, whether the, your answer is going to be bigger or smaller than what you started with, uh, and how many um, factors of 10 they're away from each other, it's a pretty easy thing to do to just move the decimal point.